On November 5th, 2017, at 11.20 a.m. in Sutherland Springs, Texas, one of the most horrific events in American history occurred. 26 men, women, and children had their lives taken too soon. News out of Sutherland Springs, Texas, a shooting taking place at the First Baptist Church there. I want to bring you up to date now on a deadly mass shooting three hours ago at a church in a small town in South Texas. It happened in Sutherland Springs, Texas. Breaking That's news, it was the deadliest church shooting in American history. Police still putting together all the evidence in the Sutherland Springs, Texas case. The events that took place changed American culture forever. Though the victims will forever be remembered, the community of Sutherland Springs continues to heal as time moves forward. Today is November 5th, 2018, and it marks the one year of the shooting at Sutherland Springs. We visited Sutherland Springs on their one year anniversary. What we learned that day changed us forever. <laughs> I just feel like bad for them. of one of the individuals standing with me right now, Johnny Langendorf. My name is Johnny Langendorf. I'm from Seguin, Texas. I'm 28 years old. Mr. Langendorf was the driver that helped chase down the shooter that faithful day. He was coined a true hero that stepped up when it was needed. I had a little bit more trouble sleeping. Uh, I got nervous going places, and I still get nervous going places, so um, I did get a dog to, that I carry with me everywhere. And she's kind of like a, she's kind of like a safety net, I guess. Makes me feel better. But, but my being there, I think, was that was that small, you know, that small part I got to play, and being able to help and the thought of it all. Why did it happen? Why was I put there? Every year, members of the Baptist Church and supporters from many surrounding counties take part in an annual Christmas toy run. However, this drive is no ordinary drive. These Santas are riding in style. Our toy run, our Christmas toy run, even the, the immediately following the tragedy, we made sure to keep it going. And I think it lets the community see that evil's not going to have us stop doing what we know is right. This is Pastor Frank Pomeroy, pastor of First Baptist Church, Sutherland Springs. By doing this toy run and taking toys to those who are, that don't have the means possibly to, to have a bigger Christmas, it, it reminds the community that God's still here and He still gives and He'll use church, the church to, to help hand those things out. To Pandora, we go to Floresville. People who come through our food pantry give us a list of people who are, are going to have a hard time this Christmas and that's what we try to, to give the toys out to. Pastor Pomeroy's daughter was one of the victims who lost their lives that day. The, those who lost their lives and spilled blood here as martyrs, I feel as though, are the seed that God used to bring forth a new church to the community. And it should be done in early spring, sometime in spring, and it's uh, it will be a light on the hill. It's being so tall, I, I didn't know they were going to build so tall, but by being so tall and they're going to put that the light up in the top of it, you'll be able to see it for miles around. I, people ask me what America can do for Sutherland Springs, and what I always tell them is be more like my community. It's my community, and it's been great. It, it always has been. And this is the man who uh, pursued, and I believe, I believe, I'll let him explain it. Shot the shooter, the, the Texas shooter, who everyone has been talking about right now. And my name is Stephen Wolford. For those of the, you that might not know, I'm a the man that stopped the shooter on November 5th, 2017, here at the First Baptist Church, Sutherland Springs. We have come together and pulled together, and as I said before, I think we're, we're stronger now than we ever were. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't go through moments of heartache and, and, and miss the people that we lost. 
just members of the community, members outside the community, people that just want to come in and, and help out and, and pass out toys. Uh, but we have homes that, that we deliver to those homes specifically. But as y'all will see today, as kids come out, they hear the motorcycles, and we make a lot of noise, by the way. When they hear the motorcycles, they come running out to the side of the streets. We have toys for them, too. They don't have to be on our low-income list, but we give toys away to any kids that, that notice that we're going down the road. King News, a school shooting with reports of multiple fatalities, this time in Santa Fe, Texas. So my name's Grace, um, I'm 19, and I was invited out here by Stephen Wolford to do the Santa ride. Uh, the shooting got me into politics, which is, you know, my major now in, at my university. And I'm really just hoping to kind of make a difference for all Texas schools instead of just the local ones from where I'm from. And, I am honored to have you here today. I know you guys have been through so much, and I can tell you, I know you've been through so much. It, it tells you through life. You know, you have hard times, you have easy times, and you gotta remember that in your hard times, you made it. I would say just keep looking up and do the best you can do. Continue to do what you know the Lord's leading you to do, and just focus on the good. There's good in everybody, even if some people have a hard time showing it. Just find it. All the victims of this horrific event are gone but never forgotten. So many hearts are still very broken from this, but everyone is slowly healing. Sutherland Springs overcame what had happened early that Sunday morning. Evil did not win. 